Hello everybody and welcome back to the Sonic Adventure 2 A-Rank series where I'm going to help you get all A-Ranks in Sonic Adventure 2. Today's video is Shadow the Hedgehog, the other 4 speed stages in the game, making this a lot shorter. Despite this fact, it won't be much easier than Sonic. In fact, it's probably a little bit harder. Shadow's speed stages compile of Radical Highway, White Jungle, Sky Rail, and Final Chase. This guide will give you all the point requirements and how to reach them for all five missions in each stage. For a few things I'm going to reference, I recommend going back to the Sonic video. And unlike last time, I'm actually going to tell you how to reach each individual upgrade besides for the light dash, because the other three are optional. Or, more exactly, optional for the story. In Radical Highway, instead of going right here, you just want to go left, follow the path, and you'll get the flame ring. Sky Rail requires you to, instead of hitting this spring, go around the tower, hitting the enemies that spawn. This will allow you to get the attack light. In Final Chase, you just want to go up these tubes instead of continuing along the main path. Light attack isn't required, but it's recommended for Sky Rail, because it gets points very easily at the beginning. With that out of the way, let's get into it. In Radical Highway, the basics you need to know are just to grab rings and to hit all enemies. The two most important route changes are in the middle of the stage, where you want to take these ramps instead of going below. In the first one, it's okay to skip the enemies, they don't give too many points, and the point bonus you get for taking the upper route is better. You need to take the second upper route so that you can reach the gold beetle. I recommend reaching the end of the stage by 3 minutes because it gives a big enough time bonus. M2 is next, and the only thing you need to remember is to try to grab every ring in your path. You should be able to get it by the time you reach this uh, enemy set, so uh, you should be able to shoot out of the tower and grab the 100th ring. The Chow mission requires you to go down to this spring by the bridge, hop up, sing the mystic melody, then just jump across the platforms to the Chow. Now remember that the M4s are just time-limited M1s, but in this stage it's actually pretty hard to reach while getting an A-Rank. If you aren't always taking the top route, then you will most likely always miss the timer. Another useful note you can remember is to try to spin dash when going up ramps and loops because those make you go faster. Although the score requirement isn't as high, the time limit, limit makes it pretty tough. The differences for M5 aren't too mandatory to remember because you still just need to kill as many enemies and grab as many rings in as little time as possible. Just remember that now you need to take some of the bottom routes and uh, the gold beetle is pretty much required anyway to advance so it won't be any problem. Next is white jungle where it's also pretty simple. You just need to remember to uh, also just take as many little route changes you can to make it faster. Also, you don't need to go too fast in this stage, it, it's pretty easy to hit the score limit as long as you are killing all the enemies. One thing you can note is that you can take some different route changes, like at the light speed dash section where you don't have to go down if you already have the, the upgrade, and near the end where you can take the bottom route to go faster, or you can go the bottom route and take this little extra pathway to get a few extra points before the goal. One last thing to remember is that in some sections, you can uh, get special points by shooting up this uh, little pulley thing. M2 is also pretty simple, just try to grab as many rings as you can. Don't forget to hit this ring container near the this point of the stage so that you can complete it in that area. M3 requires you to get to the end of the stage where you hop up this platform, come up here, and you want to activate the Mystic Melody, shoot across this pulley thing, then wait for the enemy to not electrify, then just start homing attack the enemies until you reach the chow. M4 has the same time requirement as Green Forest, but this stage can still be beaten in the same amount of time, so it doesn't really matter. Nothing too important to note here because uh, it isn't too strict. M5, you just have to remember the small little differences, like always have to, having to take the bottom route for the light speed dash area, and uh, having to take this weird route in the uh, end of the stage. You also remember that where you could uh, do this pulley thing in M1 and M4, you now have to go down this little path for M5, where there's an electric enemy. This is the first use of the flame ring. If it weren't for this and like one or two other missions, then you would only need light speed dash and mystic melody. Making great progress because shadow stages are so short, we're on to Sky Rail, which is also a really short stage. 
one thing you need to know about this stage is that at a minimum, I recommend getting at least one of three awesome bonuses on these rail jumps. If you only get one, remember to hit the gold beat on this part of the stage. This stage is comparable to Final Rush where the tricks are pretty mandatory. Remember where you could uh, get the enemies and points for the uh, attack light? Well, you can take that same path to get a lot more points and get a cool bonus. Also, right after that, if you hit the two ring containers, the life container, and these rings, you get a tight bonus, which is an extra 800 points. Besides for that, there's really nothing to note, except I haven't been able to hit all three enemies, including the gold beetle in this chain, so I just usually hop down straight to the gold beetle and get that. Remember, if you can't get the gold beetle, hit at least two awesome bonuses. M2, you just need to remember to hit both of these lines of rings at the start, this 10 ring near the beginning, and that this spring will take you to some more rings. From there, you just need to collect all of the rings that you see throughout the rest of the level. You can go a little bit slow, just don't take too long. Also be careful of the little enemy shooter right over here. M3 just requires you to go right behind this checkpoint where it's hidden behind these boxes. From there, use the light speed dash to go up, and then you just want to bounce on the springs until you can reach the chow. M4 has the shortest timer in the game, tied with Metal Harbor for speed stages, and it's really not that hard as long as you aren't taking too long, like you could have with the tight bonus before. For M5, I still would recommend trying to hit the awesome bonuses in the gold beetle. Also, in this tower section, don't go right because I found it very hard to make it pass with this enemy. I recommend just going the lower left path. The only other notable thing is to be careful of the spike balls on the path of the rails. Besides for that, the enemies at the beginning are still there, so you should be able to get some pretty easy points. Final stage already! I told you these levels were short. But this one is probably the longest speed level, even longer than Crazy Gadget. The one most important thing you must be careful of are the artificial chaos because they can easily just kill you while you're in the air or hit you and make you fall to your doom. Also try to stay as close as you can to the little tubes because they're very hard to stay stick to. The gold beetle requires you to jump here right along these two tubes and then at the end you can hit it. Besides for that hitting mo most of the enemies will work for you. At the end of the stage you can hold down and left and you can go right by this last tube which isn't required at all, and is actually just slower and gives you less time points. M2 is pretty easy in concept, but the enemies make it really difficult. All you have to remember is to not get hit at all. There's no real specific route to take, because it's pretty linear. M3 requires you to get to this little pulley just before the last tube. And then from there, you just want to activate the Mystic Melody, hit the spring, bounce over, then on this last tube, you just don't want to hit the electric fields. From there, you should be able to grab the chow. Once again, M4 is just M1, but it's still pretty easy because the time limit with the skipping the last section isn't too hard to reach. Final mission, only about 7 minutes into the video. I know we uh, went by pretty fast, but Shadow's missions are pretty easy. Now, the last thing you must remember is that M5 is a pain. The artificial chaos, attack faster, they seem to have longer arms, and the uh, Yam Baby raging a bit. But you just need to also remember that the tubes are going to be harder to hit. You need to stay clear of the asteroids. I don't have any real strategy except maybe waiting for the arms and sort of like try to juke them out and then attack the head for the artificial chaos. Also, in this section with the rail, I recommend just homing attack the uh, little tube and then just from there try to get on top and just jump dash to this artificial chaos. Sometimes you'll be able to get a homing attack, sometimes not. It doesn't matter too much as long as you don't die. Also, I should probably should have brought this up before, but for M's 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, so really all, you can uh, just uh, hit the checkpoint at the very beginning and you don't have to restart from there unless you want the 1-up capsules because there's absolutely nothing before it. You can just hit the rings that are just before it when you respawn. Although there's more enemies, once you're able to kill them all and get the points and reach the end without dying, it's easy to get the A rank. And yep, that's it for Shadow's missions. He doesn't even appear in Cannon's Core later on, so he only has four playable speed stages, unless you count player multiplayer battle. I know I sorta of rushed this, I sorta of did, but also because there's not too much to talk about that I haven't talked about in Sonic's video, 
And also, Shadow Stages are short, besides for the last one, which even there, it's sort of just don't die. If you want a longer video, you'll have to wait for the Tales video that will be coming out in a few days, or is already out if you're watching this in the future. I hate to be that guy, but these videos actually do take quite a bit of effort, so if you could like the video at the very least, that'd be appreciated. Now, I personally am done with the two easiest characters to get Amrings with, in my belief. Next will be the mech stages, which will be Tails and Eggman. They'll probably be a little bit longer, because they only have one less level than Sonic, and also, their stages are longer. But enough chatting, I hope you have a great day, and I'm sorry for a short video, but there isn't really much to talk about, and yada yada yada. I hope you have a great day, don't let the bed bugs bite, as it's nighttime for me, and uh, goodbye. One last note, I just want to say that I'm grateful for all of those who have been waiting around. Thank you for the support. Also, I plan on uploading a video once a week that will be a little hold off.